This is Chiapas in the southern part of Mexico, right above Guatemala. Now a lot of things you see on Fifth Avenue are actually from here because this area is rich in its textiles and it's a very traditional area. So the stuffed animals, the colorful embroidery that you see, this is just a little history behind the stuff that you'll find right in Playa del Carmen. The Rosalia store on Fifth Avenue is probably the best example where you can find textiles and embroidery from Chiapas and Playa del Carmen. Now there's a lot of jewelry stores on Fifth Avenue. You can find gold, silver, precious stones, but I hate to break it to you, none of this is from the Riviera Maya or the Yucatan Peninsula. A lot of things are all imported from different parts of Mexico, like Chiapas, where all the amber comes from. This amber is brought into the Riviera Maya, it's in jewelry stores, and two stores you can find are Amber Arte. They have two places on Fifth Avenue. Another thing you'll find on Fifth Avenue is coffee. If you're a coffee lover and you're coming to Mexico, well, you're in luck because three states of Mexico have excellent coffee and you're probably familiar with it at your home. Oaxaca, Veracruz, and Chiapas. The state of Nayarit in Mexico also has great coffee, but is a smaller producer as the other three aforementioned states. Now, where can you get great coffee on Fifth Avenue and Playa? Well, there's Starbucks, but it's better if you go out to a local place because you get half the price and you'll be sure to get some great Mexican blends. Acacao has three locations on Fifth Avenue where you can have great local coffee. You also can get a local roaster. It's called Kawa. They sell it at DAC Market, also at some of the local specialty markets. And it's coffee that's imported to the Playa area and it's roasted and you can take it home and you can have some great coffee. And let's not forget chocolate or cacao where it comes from. Now this product is from Chiapas and other parts of Mexico like Tabasco, Veracruz and Oaxaca. It does grow a little bit in the Yucatan Peninsula but only in the south. So we don't really get enough to produce a lot of chocolate. But on Fifth Avenue you can get some great chocolate. So where can you find some chocolate on Fifth Avenue? Well, many gift shops will sell Mexican chocolate. You also can go to Acacao, not only for coffee, but for chocolate. They have chocolate gifts you can take with you. You can also try Mexican hot chocolate or Mayan hot chocolate, which has spices in it. So some great things from around Mexico you can find on Fifth Avenue. This is posh, it is a liquor from Chiapas. It's made out of corn, wheat, and sugar. Now you probably haven't heard of this, but it's a really rare liquor, kind of like mezcal or tequila, if you know tequila, as it goes down the rarity list. Now you can find this in Plato Carmen in La Perla Pichan, they have drinks with this. And another great thing is some of the fine hotels are bringing some of these rare ingredients and great liqueurs and tastes of Mexico to your table in the Riviera Maya. So why is there a lot of things on Fifth Avenue that's actually not from Playa del Carmen area? Well, not a lot of things are actually made in Quintana Roo, the state where the Riviera Maya is. A lot of people work in tourism now, and they don't work in crafts. But we do have on our website a guide on what to buy in Playa del Carmen, so you can find great local made things, and also things that are good value when you come. Secondly, you get a lot of passionate shopkeepers that want to bring all the traditions of Mexico, the rich culture, and share it with all the tourists coming. And third, other people come to the Riviera Maya to share their crafts because they're also looking for economic opportunities. So when you see people that are selling their crafts, you know they've traveled from far places because a lot of tourists actually don't come here. So if you have an opportunity to visit other parts of Mexico, well, come and explore. Once you get beyond the beaches, Mexico has so much to offer. So we hope you get out and enjoy places like this. When you're in the Riviera Maya, of course, we have the Yucatan Peninsula and there's so much to discover there. We have lots of articles on our website so you can get out and appreciate the culture of Mexico.